Graham Glasgow started for the Lions. Did you see that? And, and is there some kind of a uh, similarity between him and Jordan? I think Jordan got um, in tem temperament. Jordan Glasgow got special teams player of the week, if I'm not mistaken, for you guys a couple weeks ago. Yes, they're brothers. Yeah, is it, are they? <laughs> <laughs> similar, very similar. Yeah. similar. Yeah. In terms of their their temperaments and their and their, uh, and their the way they approach the game, yeah, is, it, is there a similarity? Yeah, all all three brothers are uh, uh, really smart guys, uh, <coughs> good guys, good teammates, good football players. Breed them well in the Glasgow family. Can I follow up real quick with that? You guys had the uh, the knee braces on the offensive lineman. Did you guys have a talk about that after uh, Grant got injured, or what led to that? Yeah, yeah. Um, no, no longer optional. All linemen are wearing knee braces. What is Grant's status now? Is he out of the hospital, and, and what's the prognosis at this stage? Um. There's been good progress, and uh, he still hasn't. Uh, he still has more surgeries to go. Larry, um, without specifics, you talked about your recruiting trips and how you got involved with uh, the chain gang and the homecoming court announcement. Uh, just yeah, was asked asked to uh, announce uh, the winner of the homecoming game. And uh, Tatiana Mendez was the uh, was the winner. And was the winner. Uh, it was great to be part of the activity. Um, and then the chain gang. They needed a guy, and uh, was was promised a tri tip steak sandwich at halftime. And that was that was all I needed to hear. Down in front, Steve. It was a lot of fun. You, you assess the play of of, the, of Kalis and uh, and what he brings you on the right side of the line. Uh, yeah, he's he's really. Uh, somebody asked last week, you know, how's his intensity? I mean, he's uh, it's what he does. You know, that's uh, that's his forte. I mean, he's kind of uh, brings our whole offense great amount of intensity and you know, good physical play. The um, strength. The lost art of toughness in football, uh, you know, and also the valuable talent that is toughness and, and uh, strength. You talk about everybody, the effort, and you don't ever put anybody above anyone else. But do you feel like Mike might be kind of an unsung guy on the team, Mike McCray? Mike year? McCray's doing a doing an outstanding job. Uh, I, I, to speak the truth up here, you know, people deserve a pat on the back. Uh, you know, I put them ahead of people. You know, get them pat harder to some guys than, than others. I don't know where you're going with that, Adam, but. Uh, well, Mike McCray, let's talk about Mike. Yeah. Uh, he's having a tremendous year. Um, you know, he's, he's really been a, a consistently good performer, a, ascending player. He uh, gets his job done. A very good le leader on the field, but just consistently good. Um, day in, day out. Um, you know, not, a lot of, not a lot of fanfare, never any drama. Uh, and he's uh, just, uh, just a good football player. What have you noticed most about him just in the past past year as far as, you know, he, he was kind of a, a backup role and now he's kind of moved to the forefront. What, what have you noticed in the past year about him? Yeah, well, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't healthy uh, our first year here. Um, and he has been. He has, he has worked very hard to um, have his strength in the – at the at the at the right level, he's he's uh, he's overcome uh, shoulder injuries, and you know, tough as they come, you never hear a word of complaint or never a whine. W H I N E. Um, <clears throat> athleticism is uh, is extremely good. Plus, he's physical and he can 
He can athletically play outside of the box. He can physically play within the box. He's been good in pass coverage. Uh, and, he's been, been, and his instincts are real good as an inside backer, which is one of the most important tools. <laughs> Follow-up about the, the Glasgow brothers that go from walk-on to you know, NFL mm -hmm. starter to you know, all-conference defensive mm -hmm. lineman type guy. Do they, were they underrated, or have they just do they just improve so steadily that they make those jumps? Yeah, I would, I would uh, you know, I wasn't, wasn't here when they were, they were recruited, but yeah, underrated, obviously. <clears throat> so did they, were they as good as they are, were they the products they are now when you first met them, or have they improved steadily in the, the two years you've known the Glasgow family? No, they've been they've been improving. Yeah, they uh, they they very important to them uh, that they're good. They uh, you know you see you see the importance with the family of uh, getting the getting the best grades, winning awards, excelling at sports. You see them work at it, and you see them uh, improve. Proven formula uh, used by many and. and and all three of the Glasgow brothers. Have you ever worked at Chain Gang before this weekend? Yes. I've been called into duty a few other times as a parent. Thank you, middle, John. Coach, 12% conversion rate on third downs by opponents in the first half of the year. What goes into that level of efficiency by the defense in that situation? Good team defense, good scheme. Um, but it takes a Takes all eleven playing uh, playing well together. See the stop on the run on the third and short yardage situations, pass rush, tackling, uh, not allowing allowing yards after contact on, on uh, shorter passes underneath the sticks, uh, defending deeper balls, medium middle medium range balls. Uh, you know, it's it's a combination of Really good coverage on the back end, pressure uh, up front, and, and a very good stout run defense. Up on the right, Nick. Jim, uh, do you think you guys expect Drake Johnson to play this year as he plays? Yeah, yeah, I do. And then uh, I got one more. Do you watch any games on Saturday, college games? I uh, watched a few, yeah. Which ones did you watch? Oh, sure. uh, Watched uh, San Jose State and Nevada, and watched Ohio State and Wisconsin. Larry? Does it uh, do anything for you that Michigan is ranked higher than they've been in a decade, and how do you keep Freddie Peace off, off the guy's shoulders? Uh, just, we're just going to work, work and not worry. Uh, Jim, after the Rutgers game, when you were talking about Jabril and the Heisman, why, why do you think it's so difficult historically for defense, primarily defensive players, to get it? I don't know. <coughs> From the front right, Mark. Jim, obviously, in the NFL, you saw Lovey Smith's team and kind of how they played. Are there any distinctive traits that you see with Illinois that he's brought there in terms of scouting them? Uh, still working through that. In the back, Matt. Jim, you said something interesting about Kyle Kalis. You said the lost art of intensity in football. Why, why do you think that is? When do you think that changed? And why do you think there is a lost <coughs> art in the sport that you love? I don't know. back for a couple games now. Lewis, uh, has he, you know, we, we talked to him the first game back, he said he felt a little rusty. Uh, it doesn't seem like he's been rusty. What's your what's your read on how Jordan's been after sitting out the first three? He's been outstanding. Uh, athletically, technically, uh, physically, uh, tensely. All, 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 all things are good. All things are real good with Jordan. Playing at a very high level. Coach, over to your left here, Rachel. Jim, this is going to be your first meeting with uh, Lonnie Smith as college coach, not in the NFL. 
What do you remember about those meetings in the NFL? What stands out about Lovey as a coach? Uh, I don't think I don't remember any meetings we had in the NFL. No. What stands out about Lovey as a coach? Though? Uh, great coach, uh, outstanding person. Uh, don't know him real well, but know a lot of people that do, and uh, everybody speaks very highly of him. And our interactions have been been pleasant, and good, and um, so uh, you know, our task is prepare to play. Play their team and and uh, and you know it'd be, it'd be a challenge, big game, championship type football game for our team, and that's it's our duty to get prepared for it. From here, Chris, do you assess uh, Ben Gideon's play through the first half of the season? Yeah, rock solid. Ben Gideon's been uh, been a shining star. Uh, physically, has made made tackles that change momentum. Been tough as nails, been uh, been rock solid. Same as uh, you know, Mike McCray. Both those guys have, have really played well inside for our defense. Plays with great instinct, great uh, great toughness, and athletic. I, you know, I've really always, always looked at Ben as our most athletic linebacker, and I think him and Mike both are, are at that, you know, high athletic level. But also, you know, they can come up and burp a guard and uh, shed, make tackles. Um, very physical in the way he plays. He's been, uh, he's been outstanding. In the middle, Adam. Jim. Hey. Adam. Uh, any, any word? Is, this, is it still open competition with, with Kenny and uh, Tice for field goals? Is, has that kind of been ongoing? Have you decided uh, yeah. Yes. What is your decision? Competition. Ongoing at all times. All positions. You get you get just, Larry. Just consider that uh, always happening. You get Larry ready for this week as well. There we go. Larry? Larry Pro. Your new team oh, yeah. your new yeah. team member. Mm hmm Good man. Isn't he great? I like Larry. Larry is a good good guy. So he comes this week. A chance we get Larry for this ball game. Excited about that. So you caught the Ohio State game this weekend. Was that an important one for you to watch? Do you get anything out of watching them against a team that played to this point and keep tabs on the Buckeyes as you guys are both doing well here? Yeah, yeah. Um, good. Uh, you know, just like a, just watching it as a fan. Two good football teams. Bobby Henderson's touchdown at Rutgers was a really popular one among his teammates. What what does he bring to practices and, and just generally speaking, the games? Yeah, good teammate, uh, good football player who's you know, everybody's everybody's watched work at it. Everybody's watched him you know, move up the the depth chart, and you know, it's just always great for morale uh, when you see your teammates uh, having success. You're always happy for the other guy's success. Guy that. Uh, been, been a good teammate, you know, especially happy to see that.